Oi friends, today we'll be adding the hit particle effects on the zombies because Prime asked please particle effect so we're doing it. Same as last time we pretty much have all the functionality in here we just have to make the particles and that's quite easy. So I'll right click and create a new effect particle system and I'll just name it blood or something blood particle system just like that blood ps let's set the position to zero 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 and also i'll go to my prefabs and enemies and i'll just drag a zombie in just so we have some sort of a scale reference let's select the blood particle system let's move it to the zombie and let's rotate it uh 90 degrees on the x-axis or sorry minus 90 well, yeah, you just set it to zero, that's it. So zero rotation on the x-axis, and let's get to it. First off, let's go down to the renderer, I'll go to material, and I'll set it to default line. Now we have this low poly look, that's quite cool. Let's go to emission, and then we'll change the rate over time to zero. And down here we'll click this plus icon to add a burst. So you can see now it burst out particle particles English yes that's pretty cool let's go to shape and change uh, the size of this so I'll change the radius to something much smaller maybe like 0 0.05 I think that's good and the angle down to about 15 I'd say that's pretty good let's go up to the general settings and we'll change the lifetime here to something much smaller maybe like 0 0.25 and if you play now, you'll see that it lasts much less. Let's go to a start size, and on this little drop down, you'll be able to select random between two cost constants. And I'll go for like 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. So I'll choose a value between those, and that'll be the scale of the particles. Maybe that's a bit too big, so I'll go to 0 0.05 and 0 0.1. Let's give them a random rotation as well so start rotation drop down random between two constants minus 360 and 360 restart and you'll see that they have a random rotation I'll also do that for the lifetime so I'll go random between two constants and I'll do 0 0.15 and 0 0.25 so now they die sooner some of them die later we'll do the same thing with speed so random between two constants and we'll do like 3 and 4 that looks a lot better. Let's add some gravity so they fall down. So on the gravity modifier, I'll just set that to 1 and you'll see that particles kind of shoot that shoot down, maybe 1.5. Let's go to color of a lifetime here. Check that box and for this gradient, uh, we'll just click up and down here uh, so we can make new colors. So I wanted to uh, have alpha on full here and the last one will be zero so now they'll kind of fade out a bit for the color down here I'll just select some kind of a red a dark reddish color and you can copy the hex code down here and just paste it into this one and paste it into last one now you can make small adjustments maybe it gets lighter as it goes so something like this and here maybe it gets just a little bit lighter so they have a bit of a variation there you go this is a bit too dark for me so I'll just go a tad bit lighter we'll also go to size over lifetime here and uh, if you click this little uh, line or curve you can drag this up and you can change the uh, size so I'll click this one so it kinda goes to a or sorry the other one the other uh, way around so it starts at 1 and then it goes to 0 you don't uh, have to make it 0 you can just drag this up and maybe it gets really small but not uh, 0 the way we can use it of course we have to make it into a prefab first so I'll go prefabs particles and here we have our muzzles so let's just add a blood good you can delete it from the scene now we don't need it and let's open up a script we can do this in our weapon shooting script and in the same place where we last time dealt damage to him we can actually uh, just spawn some particles 
and since we're probably gonna only have a one blood particle effect we can create a prefab at the top and I'll just call it serialize field private game object and it will be blood uh, particle system or something like that let's set that equal to null by default and down here in spawn particles we can uh, create a new function and I'll call it spawn blood particles so we're gonna have that function spawn blood particles it's gonna be a private void spawn blood particles it's gonna take in a, a position and a rotation value so we'll need a vector tree uh, for position and we'll need a quaternion for uh, rotation just like that so now we can say instantiate um, blood particle system and then we need to give it a parent or you can just give it a position so we'll just go position here and we'll give it the rotation just like that and end it like that so now we'll spawn them like that so up here all we have to say is hit that point and hit the transform and actually we don't need the quaternion that's my bad for some reason I thought we did so down here in our spawn blood particles we can just get rid of the quaternion and we don't have to give it the rotation we'll just spawn on a position my bad sorry about that for the rotation here actually we have to give it something so we'll do quaternion or sorry new quaternion and then we can get a random rotation and you can see it takes in four values so we can do zero 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 and zero okay that's a bit uh, fucked up but let's continue let's see how that looks let's drag in our particle system just like that let's delete our zombie from the scene because it's gonna spawn some click play let's pick up our pistol take it and let's see if it works you can see there was a blood particle there was a blood particle there there was a blood particle there you can see that there are some blood particles popping all around and that's because the blood particles are not getting destroyed if you want to destroy them you'll have to go to the particle system and here on stop action you can just give it destroy and now they're going to destroy itself and maybe you noticed that the rotation is not completely correct so we'll have to uh, fix this problem a way we can do that is by using a normal value from our hit so up here we would need to give it a hit dot normal and then we can give it here the vector 3 normal and then instead of giving it this quaternion we can give it quaternion from to rotation and then we need to give it a vector 3 up so it knows which way is up and we can also give it our uh, normal also you need to remove the new in front of quaternion because then it's not gonna work let's check it out now so if I pick up my pistol hopefully particles are gonna work nicely this time that's okay some particles are still playing because we didn't fix it completely so you can see on our blood particle system the duration is five seconds and our emission here is doing it each second I think so let's just change the duration to one and then it should destroy completely and also you should turn off uh, looping because that's not what we need so it can actually stop the action and finally after running into all that trouble we can shoot our enemy and it's gonna not repeat the particle systems and you have yourself a nice blood effect whenever you shoot something that's nice that's it for today uh, I said this was gonna be easy but we actually ran into some trouble so that's not good but we did it still okay now bye bye